Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to change the labels of a legend in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data and we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame contains three columns, X and Y are numeric, and the third column is a grouping column which is specifying three different groups in our data. So if we want to draw these data with the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines seven and eight of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line eight of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint. And if we want to draw a ggplot2 plot with default legend labels, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 10 and 11. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object appears, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 12 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see that we have created a scatter plot with six points and three different colors. And each of these colors corresponds to one group label that is shown in our legend. So in this case, our group labels are called A, B, and C. Now let's assume that we want to change these group labels in our plot. Then we can apply the scale color manual function, as you can see in lines 14 to 16 of the code. And within the scale color manual function, we can specify the new labels that we want to use. So in this case, I'm calling the new labels group one, group two, and group three. And then since we are using the scale color manual function, we also need to specify the colors that we want to use. So in this case, I'm using the colors red, blue, and green. So if you run lines 14 to 16 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And this time our group labels or our legend labels are called group one, group two, and group three. And you can also see that the colors of the points in our plot and in our legend have been changed. So in this first example, I have explained how to change the legend labels and the colors of our plot. However, we can also change the labels of our legend without changing the color of our points. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 18 of the code. And in order to do that, we need to change our input data frame. And since I want to keep an original version of our input data frame, I'm first going to duplicate our data frame, as you can see in line 18 of the code. So if you run this line of code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right of our studio, which is called data new. And at this point of the tutorial, this new data frame contains exactly the same values as our input data frame. However, in the next part of the tutorial in lines 19 to 21 of the code, I'm changing the levels of our grouping column. So I'm applying the levels function to our grouping column. And then I'm assigning to this a list of labels that I want to use. And I'm specifying always a character string for the new label. And then I'm setting this equal to the old label. So as you can see, again, I'm changing the original label A to the new label group one, the original label B to the new label group two, and the original label C to the new label group three. So if you run these lines of code, our data is updated. And then afterwards, we can apply the ggplot function to our new data frame, data new, to draw a new plot with changed labels. So if you run lines 23 to 24 of the code, a new plot object is appearing at the top right of our studio, which is called ggp new. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 25 of the code. So if you run this line of code, our plot is updated. And as you can see, our plot is changed back to the original colors of the plot. However, the labels are still changed to group one, group two, and group three. 
So in this tutorial I have explained how to change the legend labels in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.